Hey, what's up, fellas? This is a berkelinide reactor that pretty much synthesizes nitric acid from air and electricity using a spark gap. And my pump failed on me, so I had to build a new pump, and it was kind of a challenge. Things didn't work out in the beginning. But I've got everything flowing good again. I actually might turn that up just a bit. There's no meniscus like last time, really. You see that? So it's definitely turned into some thick stuff. All right, so that puts us at 25.2%. All right, fellas, here's a quick look at the brass tax. So 62 days at 100 watts is 148 kilowatt hours. That comes out to $18.69. If we were to make a 30% solution, which is strong enough for stainless steel passivation, that would be $73. Or I'm sorry, that'd be $22.18. Now, to beat the store-bought stuff at a 70% solution, it'd take us 412 kilowatt hours, okay? That costs 51 bucks, but because we're making 1.5 liters at a time and not just one liter, we divide that by three, multiply it by two, and that gives us the cost per liter, which is $34.50 per liter, which is, you know, a little less than half the cost of what they charge you in the store. So I'm calling that a viable solution for sure. They're darn near talking me into selling nitric acid. We're not using the secondary bubbler right now because the nylon finally came apart on me. I'm waiting on some stainless steel connectors. It's this, this brass is contaminated in the fluid anyway. Well, that's how strong the acid is of now. So you can tell by the deep blue color of this. That it is uh, doing some serious dissolving. It's still going at it like it's been several hours. It's dark out now. So, so far so good, fellas.